Bitcoin has been holding steady the 47 to 48 and a half thousand dollars levels. The dollar is going up. The S&P is showing some signs of losing momentum. But the one that has already jumped off the cliff is gold. But let's take a look here. So Bitcoin has been, uh, since yesterday, just lost half percent of its price. Ethereum has gained 4.4% and the rest doesn't matter. But this and much more coming your way. Stay tuned. The podcast is about to begin. Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today, Thursday, and we are just three days away from the close of the week. Uh, gold has jumped off the cliff today, really going down. The dollar is going up a bit, and the S&P is just hanging in there, but showing some signs of wanting to go down. Bitcoin, however, has been just ranging sideways in between 47,000 and 48,000 and a half. But let's go to the charts and see what is going on. Before just going to the charts, let's take a look here at the crypto assets, which I should always try to replace crypto by Bitcoin and shit coins. But so Bitcoin has lost 0.5%, so half of 1% here since yesterday. Ethereum has gained around 4.2%. So the important thing is, however, Bitcoin continues to dominate completely the transactions and the volume. Bitcoin volume in 24 hours was 18.6 billion. And the volume traded of Ethereum, which is the second, uh, the second one in the list, is just 8.36 billion. So you guys see the volume continues to be dominated completely by Bitcoin in volume of trading in just 24 hours we had 18.63 billion dollars uh, traded in bitcoin but let's take a look at the charts as usual and see what is going on so let's just very very quickly start with the price to time model here and of course we continue above the 20 period sma on the logarithmic chart so we finally have another green week now after a big drop last week. The 200 SMA continues to increase the steepness here. So we are, uh, of course, having some bullish signs. Let's see if this week holds. And the uh, best case scenario would be to close this week above the opening of the previous one and then having an engulfing candle. But we will just see there. Uh, on the weekly chart what's going on the RSI continues to point down here but has been steady for the last 24 hours and that shows with this indication of a small reversal there I don't know if you guys can see it but there is just a v-shape recovery a very small recovery here on the RSI let's see if we can hang in there with Bitcoin not going below the current levels but let's take a look at the weekly chart and see what I mean by that so here we have the red 2 of 9. Of course, this can be just a 1 to 4 candle correction, which is the scenario that I am expecting because the scenario continues overall to be very, very bullish. So this week is a red 2 because we opened the week very low here and we still haven't got above the opening of this red candle right here. So we will continue to have a red count until we flip that candle to the upside and then flip the count to the green again but if we continue to go up steadily and healthy uh, in a healthy way then it's very very good because we might have another week just imagine that we can have another week after this one with the same size of the body of the candle and then a third week with the same size of the body of the candle then we continue to have a one to four candle correction on the red and the following week if we go above these levels then we flip the count again to the one green and continuation to the upside that is of course the very very best case scenario that i would really like to see on the weekly chart and for that to happen 
we have to maintain the levels around here probably close this week around these levels probably just a bit more around the 48,000 trying to retest the resistance that we had tested before around here when we broke it to the upside and then continuation for the next few weeks exactly the same but the really really important thing right now is that we continue to be above the 20 period SMA the 20 week SMA the green line on screen and the dots are already turning up so that means that as soon as we replace these two candles here on the 20 count of the SMA then we start to count from this candle and always going up which means that in two three weeks the the 20 period SMA will be turning back up again after this big drop that we had here so guys this is a bullish scenario still we don't have any indications that there is a bearish market right now so the bull cycle continues on and as i said we cannot turn this this i would not like to see this candle to turn red unless this becomes a doji a very very small doji we have the very very small body and then the next candle is um so this one becoming the reversal of the price action candle even on the red but with a small body short body here and then the reversal to the continuation to the upside on the next candle those are two scenarios i would not mind uh but of course the best one is to close this weekly candle on the green and have the continuation to the upside for two more weeks at least before we flip that red candle over there so for that to happen we have to flip the price of 52,000. Let's see, opening of this candle is 51,791. So yeah, 51,800 would be enough to flip the count here, but we need at least two more candles on the green uh, below the 52,000 and then flipping on the, on the third candle after this one, that would be amazing. The RSI continues neutral, just going sideways because of this big drop we had here we are just going sideways on a weekly scale so there's not, not not really much to see here the MACD the same stuff just going sideways the blue is parallel to the orange the bars continue to have a smaller gap to the downside here but I am really confident that in two three weeks we will see a reversal of the price action to the upside let's see how that goes I might be mistaken, but the probabilities indicate that right now the bullish scenario continues to have more probabilities than the bearish scenario. The let's see the daily daily chart here. Uh, so the daily chart, we continue to fight this resistance of the 20 period SMA on the daily chart. You guys know already that we are going to be supported by the 50 period, which is coming up here and the 200, which has been just going sideways because it's very, very laggy one. The 100 period, however, the red line here is already turning back up and we are also being supported by the VPVR volume here, which is very, very high below these levels, which means we had a lot of accumulation in all this area here. So it will not be easy for Bitcoin to break this to the downside. And of course, even with the 50 period SMA already trying to join the price action here, is this will be, of course, very, very good support for some continuation to the upside. So the RSI on the daily chart is of course being continues to be supported by this trend line that I have here. It was plotted a long time ago, but we never went below it. We had a touch there. We had a few more touches uh, even um, long ago. And then we had two more touches here. And this trend line continues to be supportive of the price action on the RSI. The MACD is now turning bullish. The blue line is already pointing up while the orange line continues to go down and we are about to flip the bars to the green side. So that is a very, very good indication that we probably are going to turn back up really soon. As I said, when analyzing the weekly chart, I believe that we will be going up really, really soon. So let's see if this is two more weeks or three more weeks um, trying to beat that big red candle over there on the weekly chart. But the most important thing, guys, this is what you have to focus on. We cannot, we cannot break the 20 period SMA on the weekly chart to the downside and close below it. That would be a disaster. So that's the daily chart. Let's take a look at gold here. So sorry, the dollar, the dollar is going up again. So we were uh, this week, we were going back down. We had a red candle yesterday, but now uh, the dollar flipped again to the upside. 
and is now above the previous levels of the previous two candles of the weekly chart. Right now, the RSI continues to point up. I don't like that scenario. I also don't like that the blue line continues to be above the orange line here. However, there are some signs that we are losing momentum again, and probably this resistance will uh, impose its force on the price action and send it back down again. So uh, the, the dollar is actually being squeezed in between this big resistance from the previous swing high and the moving averages, of course, that are coming here. Uh, just going sideways so the dollar has been ranging in between these levels just had this fake out here which immediately went back down but dollar is showing some strength right now during this week going above the previous two weeks i don't like that scenario i would of course prefer uh, the dollar to be weaker and of course bitcoin would inversely correlate to that and continue to the upside but we have been seeing bitcoin today struggling to maintain those levels and probably because the dollar is valuing a bit more than the normal um, levels for, uh, from the previous two weeks, of course. So gold, gold has jumped off the cliff here. So we had this big drop last week, and this week we were about to go back to the same trend line here, but today gold just decided to go down and find support on the 100 period here on the weekly chart. So gold is not showing really good signs right now, but however, it found support on the 100 period. Let's see how that goes here. Uh, but I bet gold probably will see a bit more of downside before recovering. We are just going sideways on the RSI in the middle of the chart, so there's nothing really important here. And the MACD of gold is also just neutral, not going up or down. This is just sideways action for already a lot of weeks or... Uh, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen weeks already. Gold has been going sideways, just ranging around these levels here. But the fact is that we are now below the trend line, and that is not good. Let's see the SMP here just quickly also. So the SMP had this drop the past week, and this week we have continued to the downside. Uh, it's now being supported around this level here. So let's see if we continue the downside. This is probably the end of the momentum for the S&P. Let's, uh, let's see what Wall Street is going to do about this. But I bet the Fed is not really happy because with all the money they are printing right now, the S&P finally stopped going up in its synthetic move, which I described already uh, for many weeks. I said that this is not organic anymore. This is just dollars being printed and and um injected into this market and that was one of the main reasons why the market continued to go up but everything has to come down someday and i guess we are now going to correct the smp let's see how much percent we will have uh on this correction uh, i would say that probably we could retest the 20 period sma here on the weekly chart and let's see if that happens or not but i see that this has been already overextended to the upside and a correction is due at any moment now. So uh, let's take a look at the overall uh, bigger outlook for Bitcoin. We continue above the trend line here. Nothing really uh, changed. The levels of support have been uh, holding Bitcoin, as you guys can see, perfectly, perfectly. This level here of support has been uh, holding uh, all the price action for the, uh, with the exception of the first big drop which was a very volatile move and which came into the green rectangle here perfectly. And then the second volatile move we had just a few days ago, three days ago. And from then we have been going up, trying for the second time to break this red rectangle here, which is the resistance of the forty-eight to $51,000, which I believe uh, if not for the second time, we can break it probably an, uh, just at the third time, this will be broken to the upside. I continue to be very, very positive here. I continue to believe that the bull cycle is still on. And as long as we are above this trend line, this big white trend line here that comes from the COVID crash has been touched here when the bull cycle started to go exponential. And then when it corrected after the 56% drop that we had, it's still on and it, we are still above this big trend line here. So I still believe this is a bull market. And the MACD showing signs, of course, of reversal here. So the blue line 
is exactly at the zero level turned back up and is now going in the direction of the orange line which is a bit more laggy so all good signs that we continue to fight all the resistances and sooner or later we will break this resistance around the 48 to 51k so let's see also how that goes so guys this is all i had for you guys today let me just go back to my normal uh scene here so let me just also inform you guys about the telegram group and for that we have this message on screen right now if you want to join the telegram group where we all are the followers of the channel myself included of course you can join the telegram group of the fu money channel here on youtube using this link on the screen and of course if you enjoy the content of today if you found it useful for you or for anyone else with whom you might share this content gently touch the like button subscribe to the channel don't forget the notification bell and of course now i will leave you guys with the wise words all right let's roll hey let's be careful out there exactly guys let's roll and let's be really careful out there in the markets and i will see you again in the next one bye bye